put together a build log from still shots of building a homemade tractor. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it. You can see I put my design goals at the bottom there. Uh, and uh, I did learn a bit about hydraulics along the way. I started by building a wood template to shape the frame. I used 2 by 3 11 gauge steel. I used the frame twice, once for each end. From here I fitted Subaru rear diffs sourced from u pull it. I've already fitted the axles and hubs. I'm lining up the frame to build the steering pedestal. Here you can see one hydraulic motor fitted to a differential. Here I'm framing up the steering pedestal and making sure it clears the motor. I've built up the steering pedestal and mounted the pivot shafts and bearings. The tank and wheel are just set in place. Here's the steering and frame pivots. You can see the close clearance of the hydraulic motors. I pulled the engine out of a Vietnam era military gen set. This is how I got the engine onto the frame. I just slid it down a couple of rails. I didn't have a hoist. This is the tractor with the engine bolted in. Everything else is just set in place. I use Vizio to draw all this out. I'm mounting a manual steering gear I got out of an Isuzu pickup. The pump, motors, and motor control valve have been mounted. This is the first run. It was very jumpy. After the first run, I decided to replace the J-Rotor motors with J-Rollers. Those give a lot smoother start. This is the tractor with wheels and front grille. I also mounted a ha uh, handbrake using Subaru discs on one end. Here's a tractor all painted up. After driving it around a bit, I decided to mount a Volkswagen carb on it and uh, take advantage of the accelerator pump. It really helped low end torque, but it was uh, really a bare weld in the aluminum intake manifold. Here's the engine with a carb installed. Uh, the shaft going across the top is just the governor control, which is on the front of the engine. 